When you grow up as an empath, without understanding your empathic gift, life can be somewhat challenging. You don't know why you feel uncomfortable around people. You don't know why you're so sensitive and withdrawn sometimes. And you don't know what you need to survive. In this video, I'm going to share with you something that I wish I would have knew sooner when I was like a 13 year old boy. Being an empath for so many years, I realized that if I knew that thing earlier on, I would feel so much more peaceful and at ease being an empath. I remember 26 years ago, when I was in school, I was in a class of 40 rowdy boys. And their energy was so overwhelming. I just wanted to dig a hole and hide in it. Every morning, I would hide in my secret place at the study area instead of going to class straight away. And during recess, I would hide in the library. By the end of the day, I felt so dread. I just want to go home. But at that time, as a 13-year-old boy, I didn't know what an empath is. I didn't know what introversion means. I didn't know that it was what I needed to survive. As an empath, I need time alone and my own private space that is not intruded by other people. I have a better sense of myself and my energy when I'm alone. Because I didn't know that's what I need as an empath, I just thought that there's something wrong with me. When I see the other boys, they're always in groups and they're always having so much fun. They're chasing each other around the class. They're playing pranks with one another while I have no interest in mixing around with them. And at the time, I thought that I have to be like them. I have to fit in. I even thought that I was antisocial and I didn't like people. But what I didn't realize is Empath needed space to feel safe and grounded. Other people's energy affects me and I didn't know what to do but to run away. I didn't know that I don't have to be like other people. I can just be me. If only I realized that at that time, I probably won't end up feeling so isolated and lonely. And I also wouldn't have low self-esteem. If I were to go back 26 years ago, I would have told my younger self that you are intuitive right to separate yourself from other people because that's what you needed to survive. Being alone helped you feel more peaceful and more connected to yourself. And very importantly, there's nothing wrong with you. You're just protecting yourself from other people's energy. And because you are still new to your empathic gift, you're still learning how to manage your energetic fear. So that's what you needed to do. Being different from other people may make you feel like an alien and make you feel very lonely at times. But you will soon realize that as you grow older, how this empathic gift of yours will benefit you and other people. You are not disconnected from other people from a spiritual point of view. Even though you, it may seem so right now from a physical point of view. I wanted to create this video because it took me such a long time to understand why I need time alone. Even with people that I love and I'm close to, like my family members. And I just wanted to remind you that it's okay to have your me time. In fact, it's actually very healthy for empath to break away from other people from time to time. Empath feel a responsibility to take care of other people's needs because we feel the disappointment when we say no to other people and we don't want to disappoint them. But sometimes you just have to let them feel their own disappointment and manage their own emotions. If we don't spend enough time alone to recharge ourselves, that will cause us to feel very drained and exhausted. So it's important to schedule time alone from other people. It doesn't matter if you are an introvert like me or an extrovert. As an empath, being in solitude and silence will help you have a better sense of what is yours and what isn't yours. That will include your emotions, problems, and desires. When we are so blended and merged with others, we lose our sense of self. But when we are alone, it's easier to be more of ourselves. It's easier to feel who we are. Being alone doesn't mean disconnection. I always have to remind people around me that I'm not rejecting them in any way. I just need my me time. If I were to start with someone for 24 7, that would make me a very unpleasant person to be with 
because I'll feel so drained and out of control. And that's when I become a little bit angsty and frustrated. By allowing me to have my own space, you will get the best version of me. You will get the best of me. After I recharge, I will have better energy and be more clear-minded. And then I can help you solve your problem if you have any in a more effective manner. I can also form a better relationship with others when I feel at ease and peaceful. Besides alone time, space is also very important for an empath. As a teenager, I had to get away from my classmates because they were in my space. 40 of us were packed in a small classroom and we are sitting so close to each other. It's easy for others to get into my energetic space. Of course, at the time, I didn't know I could adjust my aura closer to my physical body. Now, if I go out to a crowded place, I will know to keep my aura closer to my body. But when I'm at home, I prefer to go into the default mode, which is to have my aura much wider and looser. So it's very important to declutter the room regularly. Because things have energy and they may affect your emotions, you may feel that certain things give you a very bad vibes. If that's the case, you may want to remove it. You may want to keep it in a cupboard or you want to sell it or donate it. Don't display it because it will affect you very much subconsciously. You can watch this video that I did previously where I talk about this TV cover that I have that give me the bad vibes and what happened after we didn't remove it. You can try this and let me know in the comment section. You'll know what I mean when you try it. Once you adjust the furniture, right, you will feel different. Your perspective changes. You feel more open when you have a wider space to live in. You'll be more open to solutions that you didn't see before. Empath love bigger space so that they can have their aura much wider. If you have too many things in your house, those things will constantly feel like they are invading your space. Then you always feel like your home or your room is very small. It's not because of the size, it's because of the clutter. This year, I have been trying to get more things that aren't mine or common shared items out of my room. In my household, we have this weird entanglement. Our things will be in each other's rooms and this causes a lot of energetic confusion. And when I start shifting things that are damaged or not important out of my room, I feel so much freer and so much better. If what I share about decluttering resonate with you, be sure to watch this next video. In this video, I share 5 things I learned after clearing my dad's possession.